friends, it's me, Erin, your friendly neighborhood energy alchemist with today's Schumann Resonance Report for Saturday, February the 3rd. All right, as you can see, my eyes are red and swollen. These ascension symptoms are kicking my booty. Here's the graph. Here's all day yesterday. And even now, we've been receiving tons and tons and tons of new energy. All levels, all chakras, all hands on deck. And I even left my eyes as red as they were yesterday just to show you that ascension symptoms are all over the board. My eyes are swollen and red when I get up. I have a lot of stomach upset and nausea. I have a very strong headache right in the center of my forehead for days. That goes away, but it always comes right back after the medicine wears off. Um, I'm very tired. I feel exhausted, like my energy has been worn down. I actually feel very much like what I imagine a rubber band feels like after it's been stretched and released and stretched and released and stretched and released. Like, come on, can I get a break, Fran? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for the new energy. I'm all about moving forward, but sometimes all at once is, it's really hard to do, you know? Even when we look at the other graph, you can see even when the solar plexus line is slow or quiet, all the other lines are active. So we are receiving energy constantly from the timeline jump to right now. As a matter of fact, even now, still starting to receive some new energy. And when I ask in meditation about what we should be doing, I just was given the magnesium again and that now is the time to really be working on your focus. There's gonna be a lot of changes coming forward, not just for you personally, but in the world theater. Um, there's a lot of material, uh, military conflicts. I'm having trouble with my words today. Lots of military conflicts all around the world. There's environmental conflicts coming up, all kinds of stuff. So it's more important than ever to really choose where you put your focus because law of attraction states, where you put your focus is what you will bring reflections of to you, right? Like an echo chamber. So it stands to reason that you want to put your focus on things that help you feel better, right? Let's turn the news off. Let's not listen to news radio. Let's not watch war movies or murdery shows just for a little bit. And with these physical symptoms being so strong for so many people, it is absolutely paramount that you do things to take care of your physical body today, tomorrow. I mean, you always should, but more than usual, you know, listen to your body. If you are not feeling well, lay down. And believe me, if your symptoms are getting out of control to the point you cannot take it, please go see a doctor. It's okay to take medication for the symptoms. You're not going to stop your ascension. What do you think's going on here? Medicine is a tool to help you feel better. It is not a curative for a lot of things, but it can help you to get through what you're going through now. So use it as the tool that it is. When I pulled our cards for today, I asked, what do we need to know to help us get through this ascension process right now? Where should, what should we be doing and where should we be focusing? The first thing that came up was creative vision. This is an excellent time for you to start working on some kind of creative project that maybe you've been putting off for a while. You know, that story you wanted to write, that painting you wanted to write, all those things. It's time to do that. Also, work on balancing your heart. This is noticing that there is not just a physical life, that you have a, a metaphysical life too. But having a metaphysical life doesn't mean you can ignore your physical life. It's about balance. It's about finding things to do for yourself that help you feel good while also participating in your regular physical life. We're not talking about leaving things behind and ignoring your life. That just not, no, no, no. That just not gonna work, friend. The next card was youthful emotions. And this is about getting back to those childhood things you used to do. Indulge in coloring, go for a walk, do something that would have made your inner child really, really happy. Something that they never got to do or something like that. Do something to kind of get in touch with that inner child and bring it to the surface because that inner child has access to joyful bliss. And my guides especially are really, really pushing this. It's time to focus on your joy and find your bliss. And I know there's a lot of people that tell me, I don't know what that is for me, but I gotta tell you the truth. That's just not true, friend. Your talents and your passions are so important. That's where your gifts lie. We are meant to come here and live in our passion. That's so you can live your life full of joy and you're not living out of obligation only. And I know that's hard to do for a lot of people, but you can do one thing, one thing for yourself without any motivation of trying to get paid for it or anything. Just do it because it feels good and you like it. And as always, I like to show you guys the beautiful sunrise. Here she is, she's coming up this morning and I cannot be more happy to see her. My snowman's looking a little pitiful, but that's okay. I'm ready for him to go because I'm ready for summer. <sighs> Look at that beautiful picture. What a beautiful scene, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful friend. <sighs> it's a great day.